We're here uh, May 5th. It's the kayakbassfishing.com river raid on the Mattawoman. And uh, we got someone down here catching some herring, it looks like. There's a lot of fish that are pulled up into the top end of Mattawoman here. We, we scouted this last week and uh, they're snakehead right up in this. I know I was the first one through last week and I saw three of them just in the first 150 yards. Um, one of the things that worked for me last week was a new bait that we got from Confidence Baits. I got some samples here for you guys. This is actually, you don't need one. This is my buddy Roy. He <laughs> does the baits with me. Um, it's it's a, the Dragon Spinner Bait, and that's in, in black. Yep. Um, this is actually the bait that I did well with when I filmed with uh, Chad. You guys seen the, the show, Not Right Kayak Fishing? When we filmed on uh, his water down in Virginia Beach, uh, this was the spinnerbait that did very well. These are the two colors that we have for the, the Dragon spinnerbait currently. This is the black with blue flake, which is great for conditions like we got here. This tidal water is fairly turbid. And for clear, present, clear water presentations, this is the bluegill. It's got the uh, smoke with gold flake and green pumpkin with blue flake. Overall, real good uh, bluegill profile. What'd you get? Oh, wow. Nice! What do you eat? A lizard. A lizard? On a shaky a head. Rigged on a shaky head. Mm -hmm. nice yeah, it looks bigger. Back to back cast, wasn't it? Did you get his twin? I think so. <laughs> Stand there, look like it, don't it? <laughs> yeah, nice, nice Sweet. Always fun to catch the green one. That's three and three cast, isn't it? Okay. What do you got, man? Yeah. What we got here ourselves is a uh, river bass. We're gonna measure here in a second there. Caught him on a chrome blue rattle trap. You need pliers? On the rip wrap on along the wall here. Yeah. yeah, thank you. How big is this one? It was uh, four pounds and four ounces. Nice. 20 inches to let her go. Uh, the fish I just caught there, just real quick a note there. I do a lot of fishing on the Potomac and its tributaries, mainly the Virginia side. However, one of the things I've noticed in recent times, my lure of choice, go-to lure, is this rattle trap right here. What makes it unique, in my opinion, is the fact is that it's mimicking the bait fish that are right now predominantly in the water there, and that flash is the, the thing that gets them. It's been banged off so many times off the rock there to all the uh, paint that's come off here, but there's enough of a chrome that you can see there that that flash in the ball bearings in the water that drives them crazy. Chrome rattle trap, banging it off the wall, slowly off the rocks below. Fish love it. What you got, man? Uh, about a 20 and a quarter catfish. It actually. Dude, don't let him poop on me. <laughs> He's pooping. It actually hit a lizard um, that I had on a, uh, a little jig that I made. I actually cut some lead off of it. It's on a 5 odd hook. Nice. That was in the 3 8 cavity that I just. You know, put a little powder paint on and then cut some lead off just to. So you poured that yourself? Yeah. For the do it mold? Yep. Cool. There. What's he saying to you, man? He said, Arr, Arr. Probably thanks for that little. Hey, nice sticker. Thanks. You make a lot of stuff with do it? Here's one that's, that I've been making that's just been phenomenal lately. Nice. And that's with the, what, the swim jig mold? Yeah, I used that um, flat eye. You can have that. If